everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back. We're so glad that you joined us again today for another great Sunday school lesson. Aren't you going to say hi, Dolly? <laughs> you know Dolly, she's always shy. Well, before we get started, let's bow our heads and say a word of prayer. Lord, we acknowledge our love for you on today. And we ask that you bless us with your understanding as we continue to learn and grow more and more like you. It is our hope that we are pleasing in your sight. In the name of Jesus, we pray, amen. All right, so last week, if you remember, we were in the book of Romans and we were talking about the apostle Paul and a letter that Paul had written to the Romans. And he was telling them about, wait, Yes, Dolly, you remember. He was telling them about the Holy Spirit and how we all have the Holy Spirit inside of us. When Jesus was crucified and when he died on the cross and when he arose on the third day and before he went back to heaven, he told the disciples that he was going to send a comforter, a comforter for each and every one of us, a comforter to help us through the hard times, a comforter to be with us through the good times, a comforter that would just when help us when we became very weak. And that comforter is the Holy Spirit. So as we ended up talking about the Holy Spirit and we completed that book, uh, it was in the uh, eighth chapter. Well, we didn't complete the book, but we completed that talking about that chapter. And so today we're going to skip over to the book of Galatians. And we are still with Paul. Paul has written another letter to the Galatians and addressing some concerns that he had with them. So I am going to share the screen here. And our lesson today is having faith in God, having faith in God. And our memory verse is in Christ Jesus, you are all children of God through faith. And I, I didn't tell you to, but I hope that you went and got those Bibles. And Galatians, if you find the book of Romans, then you just keep turning and pass 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, and turn over to Galatians and find Galatians, the third chapter, and the 26th verse. And in that 26th verse, it talks about how in Christ Jesus, we are all children of God through our faith. And so we're going to start off and I'm going to explain to you a little bit about faith. What is faith? Faith is believing without seeing believing without seeing. We can't see God, but we believe in God. We were not present when 
Jesus was crucified on the cross. We weren't present when Jesus was resurrected from the dead. We were not in the room with the writers who wrote down God's words that form the beautiful Bibles that we read out of. So how can we believe in all these things that we cannot see or neither have we experienced? Well, here is the good news. This is called faith. God is not visible. Faith is believing without seeing. Although we cannot see God directly, nor have we experienced all of the things that God talks about, but God chose to give us evidence that makes us believe that those things that we've talked about really happened. For example, even though we can't see God, we can see all that he created and the order with which he created it in. You look at the front of your Bible. The very first book of the Bible is the book of Genesis. And Genesis tells us right at the beginning of the first book, it tells us how God created everything in the world. And it even tells us what day he created some of the things on. And he, everything was created in six days. And the Bible says that he finished up his work. And on the seventh day, God rested. So when we think about the oceans, all of the animals that live in, on land, all of the sea creatures and the ones that live between the water and land. All the different trees, the beautiful flowers, the birds in the sky. We know that God had to have been the creator of all of these beautiful things. Did you know that the earth is 93 million miles away from the sun. This is a perfect distance. If we were a few degrees closer, we'd burn up. If we were a few degrees further away, the planet would freeze and we could all freeze to death. Now, don't you think that only God could have made those calculations? He put our planet Earth in the right spot. God is awesome, isn't he? He can do all kinds of things, anything that he wants to. Even though we cannot see or experience many things on our own, we can have faith that they are all true. Faith is not easy and doubts will definitely come our way. We develop our faith by hearing the word of God like you're hearing the word of God during this lesson today. Or you hear the word of God when you read your Bibles for yourselves. The more we hear the word of God, the stronger our faith becomes.
We want to learn to live by faith and not just by that that we could see. Our scripture says today, I'll go back to that, that in Christ Jesus, you are all children of God through faith. You are all of God's children through faith. Kids, parents, grandparents, old, young, babies, and all, we are all of his children. God sees us all as the same. He loves us all the same. He loves us all as his children. And guess what? He wants the very best for each and every one of us. How is it that we can all be his children, but we don't come from the same family? We don't live in the same households. Many of us don't look alike. We don't sound alike. But Galatians 3 and 26 tells us that we are all God's children through faith. When we ask Jesus to be our friend, to be our Lord and to be our savior, and when we invite him into our hearts, we then become a child of God. This also means that we are brothers and sisters with other people all over the world. Especially those that have asked God the same types of things that we have. Those that have invited God into their hearts as well. It is through our faith in Jesus that we do become brothers and sisters. We believe in him and we believe that he is who he says he is. We believe that he is God's son, that he died for our sins, and we believe that he rose from the dead and is now in heaven with God the Father. When we believe these truths, we then become united with Christ. Ah, here's another word, united. Now, what does that mean? Wait a minute. Dolly says that she knows what it means. And she says it means when we are united, it means that we are made as one. Or it means that we are joined together with Christ. Wow, Dolly. <laughs> you are so smart. Thank you, Dolly. So. If we are joined with Christ, then that means that we are just like one. Christ becomes a part of us and he lives inside of us and is always with us no matter where we go. No matter what happens, he never will leave us. Because Jesus is God's child, then we also become children 
of God's big, big family. Isn't it beautiful to be a part of God's big, big family? Let's bow our heads and thank him for that. Jesus, we are so thankful that we get to be a part of your big, big family. We love you so much and we are very thankful that you call us your children. We are thankful for other believers throughout the entire world, Lord, and that we get to be brothers and sisters with them in your kingdom. Holy Spirit, help us to remember that we are united with Jesus. Help us to see other believers as you see them, no matter their age, no matter how they look, no matter what they talk like or where they live. Your heart for the family of God is appreciated. We pray all of these things in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen. So as we go throughout the week, let us remember now that we are all brothers and sisters. And all of us are important because we all belong to the same family of Jesus Christ. And Jesus looks at us as being important to him because he loves us so much. Wait, you know what Dolly said? Dolly said, and don't forget that it's nice to be important, but it's always more important to be nice. Ah, uh, thank you, Dolly. Okay, so have a great week. Thank you again for joining in today. We love you on purpose. All right, bye-bye now. <laughs>